Okay, so I just got back in from our morning walk and I think it's time for us to talk. I had a little bit of footage that I wanted to dump into my memory bank and I thought that I would share that along with a bit of a Q&A. This video that you see is going to be in current time. Just know that videos after these have been filmed before this one but I just thought um, it would be good to sit down and talk a little. So I put a question box on Instagram. I posted in participation with Blackout Tuesday on our Instagram, just kind of interjecting my voice a little bit. I would love it if you would go and check it out so you would know exactly where I'm coming from here. I don't believe I have to speak on everything with everyone, um, but it is a little bit of what I wanted to share. Um, I hope you read it. It's important to me. It's a start and I am excited to start opening up conversations um, that we may not have previously had. I think I just really want to start talking a bit more about why I kind of stopped sharing so much and why I back away a lot and a lot of that has to do with my constant quest to exercise wisdom and keep what matters most at the forefront of my heart and my mind. I love this little family of mine and I want to steward the gift of them well. I want to be a good wife and a good mother and a good friend. I want to be a good teacher. It is a job that I take very seriously. The path that I choose has always been of greater resistance. So I'm excited to share more, but also with boundaries because they're important. They're important for me to protect what matters most. Um, and what can get lost so easy, if that makes any sense. Social media is a whirlwind from YouTube videos and Instagram and Facebook and um, Twitter and TikTok. It can be a whirlwind of a mess and I don't want to get swept up in that. I don't want to lose sight of what's most important and for us and our family, that is always walking by faith and with love. So I just thought I would open this up to any questions that I received today. I am still on plan being present with my babies teaching them today but I thought I could interject a little bit here and there and answer some of the questions that I get. I'm gonna come back to this spot when I get moments throughout the day and try to answer some of the questions that I receive. I'm also trying not to put my hot coffee down on my marble table because I haven't gotten um, a cover for it just yet. So. And I hope you appreciate the fact that I put Cameron's Golden Pathos up on my shelf just to make this background a little fancier. question I think I'm going to start with is why did you decide to homeschool? Is it the same reason you continue to homeschool? So I'm going to keep that one short and sweet because I probably should do an updated video on that very thing. Um, I will link a post to the one that I have on our channel that I have done before and my feelings are very much so still the same. I just want my kids to walk through this life with hearts of compassion. I want that to be at the forefront of their hearts and minds above all else. Putting people first in their hearts over other less important things. So like I said, I'm going to go into more detail with another video on that in the way that um, I like to tell these stories best. I love learning and I love learning with them. I love learning beside them. I love having a teachable spirit that is excited to learn new things all around me. And I want my kids to hold that very same thing. I got quite a few questions about what is in our garden. And I'm so glad you asked because let me show you. <laughs> hey, Vanna. So we had a question, someone asked, us what we have in our garden so I thought you might want to give them a tour <laughs> you want to give them a tour of our garden let's do it mama so I just wanted to say welcome to our garden we have two kales it looks like they're all together but what did you say the kale looked like curly hair yes <laughs> she said the kale looks like it has curly Look. hair 
Look at this. What do we see, Mama? Please do. What is that? For all of you that have abundant, beautiful gardens, I do realize that this is all a bit cluttered, but I wasn't expecting this, so I'm trying my best here. This is purple cabbage. Okay, what else? This is green onions. This is cauliflower. Oh, mommy, come here. Yes. Ooh, pretty. Right. And all of this is squash, and these are all the tomatoes. This is lettuce, and the smaller ones are the green pebbles. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm back. So this one, I'm gonna keep short and sweet. I am super interested in your homeschool curriculum. What does your family use? So there are many videos all across my channel that talks about the curriculum that we have bought into our homes. But I'm gonna be 100% clear. I will use anything to teach them. I will use anything for us to look for the truth um, as we explore and discover the world that is around us. It could be a children's book, an adult book, a piece of actual prepared curriculum. I don't care what it is. It is 100% my goal to be led by the spirit that is with inside me. And there's been so many ways that we learn in our homeschool each and every day. It's really hard to express what I'm saying, which is why I hope you just continue on with this journey as I share. I will prepare a blog post that lays out everything that we currently own and things that we've tried and ways that maybe we've used them before but i am not a believer in prepared curriculum to know what to use and when to use it based on what your goal is that is important to us the most so i hope that helps i feel like it's not going to help it's one of the major reasons why i slow down in sharing because it's not the curriculum that matters in our homeschool we learn lessons in shows that we watch in books that we read, so many books that we read, in conversations that we have. And it is my hope that in sharing these films, you will start to see some of the ways that these things unfold. I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> I have a video that explains how I um, build my own curriculum from start to finish. And it's funny because I keep thinking I don't have anything to share. The interesting thing is that I still use that same structure for keeping track of our goals and the new things that we want to learn and that we want to do. Um, but I thought, you know what, it might be helpful to share so that you guys can see I use that very same thing, that very same thing that I did that one year that I think now was maybe two years, three four, I don't know how many years ago it was, but after putting in that work and organizing and building that structure for creating our own curriculum, we still use that same thing. What are some things you use to teach your little ones to read? So I have a video about how my kids learn to read and the majority of that really came from them teaching themselves. We created a bit of a book year um, that I'm going to be talking more and more about and I have a book year guide that explains how we approach reading and how we find time for it and make it fun. Um, I hope to share more and more about that as books have become a major, major thing in our homeschool. Have you stopped planning unit studies? Um, the short answer to that is no. <laughs> the thing about unit studies is that when I begin a specific unit study, we revisit those things every year in all different ways. The very first unit study that I did years ago on the solar system, we start with that basic structure and we build on it every year. So every time I have a new idea um, and a new thing to share with the kids, I start by building a unit study for myself to give me a guide on how I want to lead. Um, and the ways in which I want to do so. I share 
in more depth about these type of things on my Patreon space. Right now my Patreon space is paused, but I'm hoping to be able to open it up really soon that will give you like the inside uh, details into how my brain works and how I do things. But I had to create a boundary, a space in which I can operate and be healthy and continue to share. And that is why I separated sharing those type of things here on our channel, in our films, in that way and created a separate space for that um, for me to be able to do it in a way that I can comfortably just be me and be myself and not feel the pressures of this outside YouTube world if that makes any kind of sense all right so what would you check boom ocean then you might over here, you might put Atlantic, Antarctic, Indian, okay? Do research about the blue whale. Do you do affirmations with your kids? That's a really good question. There is nothing that we say every single day. We really try to get into a habit of speaking to their hearts, really seeing them, seeing what they're experiencing, how they're feeling, what they're going through, so we can speak specifically to that. So my super sweet friend from A Common Life, Michelle, actually asked this question and she asked, how do you stay positive on the difficult days and the honest Serena answer to that is I throw whole fits and tantrums <laughs> but I do it in the safety of my home you have to work through things you have to work through thoughts and feelings we have to be taught the proper way to handle the tough things for me that 100% comes from my faith it 100% comes from the Word of God and it helps me it is a living word that helps me to um, navigate and learn how to handle the things that I face on a daily basis and there's a lot friends there's a lot <laughs> That is how I get through things. I think there's this false sense of positivity that floats around, especially when it comes to us painting this picture of life to our kids. I 100% am a believer of teaching my kids about this world that they have been birthed into. We believe that we are on a mission. We believe that we have been purposed and gifted and graced for the mission that we are on here. We are here for a purpose and for a reason. They are very aware at the appropriate times of the darkness that surrounds us. That is so important for me to teach them that. So they understand that positivity doesn't mean that there is an absence of negativity around you. It just means that you get to choose the way in which you're going to move through the day and how you are going to handle situations. That's really, really important to us and something that I, I try to drive in in my actions um, leading by example and showing them and letting them watch me press through things and letting them ask questions. That is how I attempt to stay positive amidst it all. Just simply knowing the fact that we do not live in some kind of cookie cutter world where everybody holds hands and sings. It's just not that way. But we are supposed to look for the light and look for the love. We're supposed to be the light and be the love. So. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> also, I will say this. I don't know what it is about this camera, but every time I turn it on, I cannot help but to smile. I do not walk around smiling all day long, friends. I just don't. I'm a thinker, a really deep thinker, and oftentimes that means that I have to be very mindful of my facial expressions, but for some reason when I turn this camera on, I can't help but to smile. I tried really hard to show you what I might look like all day, but it just didn't work. So I'm gonna stick with this one here. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stop there. 
I'm going to answer a few more of these actually on our Instagram and try to save them to a new Q&A type of highlight. I think that's a good idea. You ask for a creator. <laughs> You've got muscles too, huh? I made my fingers bendable. You did? This might take a while. <laughs> so, what I want you to know about me is social media is not my friend. <laughs> I am a creative soul and I started off on this space of YouTube and on Instagram for the purposes of learning to keep our memories and tell our stories and learn to be a filmmaker. I got away from that because of the pull of Instagram and the pull of YouTube and I had to go back to how I was truly intending to share. So I'm not great at Instagram. I need you to understand this. I am an introvert to my core. Um, things exhaust me. Instagram exhaust me. <laughs> But I learned and I had to back away from that space and figure out how I could best operate in these spaces. And I've created boundaries for myself and times in which I allow myself to be on Instagram, to be present there and to share there. And I am going to do better. I am going to do better and work harder at connecting because it's important and it's a beautiful way to connect, but I can't allow it to overwhelm me. So just be patient with me as I learn of Instagram. I'm not great at it. The majority of the day, I have no idea where my phone actually is. <laughs> so um, just grow with me as I learn to navigate social spaces and share of our family and our heart in the way that I feel fits best for us. To learn is a beautiful journey. And there's so many distractions in our way. But get excited because there's growth here. And I hope we can walk this thing out together as friends. Internet friends though. Not in real life friends because sometimes people be trying it. <laughs> <laughs>